How can you increase health and well-being and at the same time reduce CO2 emission, waste of construction and cost in the entire life cycle of a building? Those are sustainability challenges we face as designers of buildings. Challenges we meet by working with life cycle engineering. My name is Andreas Kvesegger and I'm a sustainability engineer. While the life cycle perspective has been used for a long time in the building industry, life cycle engineering is a new, practical and time efficient method. Based on our experiences, materials will become very high on the sustainability agenda. One reason is, while the energy supply is becoming more environmentally friendly in cities, the embedded carbon emissions in materials is now exceeding the carbon emissions associated with operating a building. That means that we now need to look more into materials from extraction to the use of materials and the end of life. At the same time, 67% of our Scandinavian clients sees hazardous chemicals from construction materials into the air as the most important aspect of a healthy building. You can select healthy building materials by setting demands to the chemical content and degasification and other qualities that contribute to a good and healthy indoor environment. We also see opportunities to design for recycling and reuse with a positive return of investment. And the building industry is a good example of this. 40% of all waste is generated from the building industry. Less than 1% is utilized in new buildings. In a building project, we have calculated the economical differences between two solar shading systems. In this specific building case, the difference between the two solutions were about 300,000 euros in the building's 50-year lifetime. This, together with other parameters such as indoor environmental qualities, were used to make an optimized design solution for the building. So to sum it up, life cycle engineering includes all three pillars of sustainability. The environmental, the social and the economical aspect in a full life cycle of a building in a both practical and applicable way.